So this is the website as it is at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to log back into the admin control panel and start changing the look of the uh, template. So go to your website.co.uk and then always remember that it's forward slash WP dash admin. Click on enter, enter your username and password and then log in. And on the left hand side from the WordPress dashboard, we're going to choose canvas. Okay, so let's start with the general settings then. So custom logo. So if you already have a logo, then you can upload a logo here, or if you don't, you can just use the, the text based logo, which is what you can see there. Um, to have a logo created, or you could go to a place called um, Digital Point. If you type in Digital Point to go to digital, digital Point Forums. You can create an account here and click on forums and buy, sell or trade. And we want to look for design and you'll probably get logo design here. You can see logo design high quality unlimited revisions for only $15. Custom logo design another here, look $20, $15. So you'll be able to find something to design your logo on Digital Point. Another place to get logo design is, of course, Fiverr. And if we do the search box here and type in logo, for five dollars you can have a logo created on Fiverr. What you do is just create an account. Um, so for instance this one and see it's got lots of reviews let's cross that off a moment and all you would do is order and it tells you how long it takes for that to be done ok so let's get back into this now then so custom logo so I have my logo already I'm going to click on upload upload files select files scroll down and locate the logo I want to use which is there double click it let's just get rid of that one there we go and I'm going to use images custom logo for SEO purposes by the way whatever your site's called or the target URL or the um, target keyword you want to try and rank for you can see that I want to try and rank for the keyword word, uh, build a WordPress website you can see that my logo is called that build a wordpress website logo png the alt text i can set as build a wordpress the title set as that and i want to put the description as well that's going to help you in there uh ranking your search it's ranking your website in the search engines so there's the logo i can also upload my own fabric on here and uh, the website we can use to do that is a website called dynamic drive Favicon. Type that into Google and the first search results would be the Dynamic Drive tool. And this is going to create a Favicon from an image. So I have an image on my computer. I'm going to click on Browse. Locate the image that I want to use for the Favicon, which is that one. And I'm going to click on Create Icon. Let me show you a preview of that. There it is. And I'm going to download that to my computer. So download Favicon. Click on OK. I'll save it on my desktop. That's all done. And I'm going to locate that file. Again, if you just see that, click in the box, click on Upload, then select the file. Scroll down, and there's the Favicon. Double click it. And that's the favicon. Now let's just save that and show you what we've got so far. There's the favicon shown in the browser. And there's the custom logo. Okay, so 
that's the favicon done and the custom logo next box here is tracking code and this is for your google analytics but we'll get back to that uh, in a short while subscription settings then for the rss url we'll leave that for now this is where you can input custom css uh, to your theme don't need to worry about that post page comments select if you want to comment on posts and all pages right so we won't bother having comments on pages we'll leave it on posts only the post content we'll leave that as it is display breadcrumbs I highly suggest you tick that box and then the pagination style you can either have numbers or next previous we'll leave that set at numbers so we'll click on save changes there so now we've just created our custom logo and we've also got a favicon